Dude, I just want to apologize about the whole jacket thing. It was a dick move on my part to not include you in the tweet, and I apologize. Thanks, dude. Well, I'm sorry I encased you in a glass wall. Oh, please. I would have done the same thing. So, friends? Friends. Hey, guys. Look what just arrived. Ah, oh, it's so comfy. Look at that stitching. I mean, this is really good quality. You should put yours on. What? Something I said? My God. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. Say, remember when I said I'd make a quick tip on how to do Vision's phasing effect from Civil War all the way back um, three days ago? Now there also is another wall phasing effect I'm going to cover, and that's Vision from the Avengers. Mm, good times. Well, that's what we're doing today. Just like with our zoom phasing effect, you want to shoot your actor on a green screen or against the wall you're going to phase through and walk forward pretending to phase through said wall. You'll also need a background plate as the technique for both zoom's phasing and vision's phasing are pretty much the same, except for one difference. In this version of the effect, you'll need a copy of Edge Glow from Red Giant Universe. It's a free plugin, you've just got to download a trial of Red Giant Universe. Download link is below. Also, a big shout out to the gang over at Rode. I entered a comp that they had on Twitter for three buddies to win this sweet varsity jacket and a hoodie, and I actually won. So be sure and follow them guys, as they're posting new giveaways all the time, and you gotta be in it to win it. Alrighty, enough showing off, now let's get to work. Hey guys, well here we are back in After Effects. Now you'll have to excuse the noise if you do hear something, but Donnie is snoring on the couch behind me. Now I've got my comp set up, and as you can see, just like with our Zoom Phase episode, I've pre-comped our actor footage and added our mask animation. If you haven't seen that episode, click right here or down below in the description. Only this time, if I open up the comp, you'll see I've added a few more masks this time around. Now, last time we used the mask opacity setting to bring our masks in individually, but this time I'm actually using the mask expansion setting. To do this, all you have to do is simply draw your mask as you normally would, and then if I play with this mask expansion slider, you can see I can either make the mask bigger or smaller. Now this is handy if you don't want to animate that mask path shape frame by frame. You just animate the mask to grow bigger using this setting. Gotta love those shortcuts, right? Anyway, on to today's effect. Now when Vision walks through the wall, he has to glow around parts of his body phasing, like in this example from Civil War. So how do we do that? Well, first off, we have to create the outline around our actor's body as they phase into the shot, which is pretty easy actually. All we have to do is select our pre-animated actor comp, this one right here, head to layer and select auto trace. Now we want to trace the whole shot of our actor, so make sure work area is selected. We also want the channel set to alpha, that way the tracing tool will use our animated masks as reference. Now gang, I've set my tolerance to 0.1 of a pixel, which may slow down your computer and take a long time to render, but on the plus side, it will be more accurate. So just have a little bit of patience. Lastly, I have the threshold set to 75%, the minimum area to 10 pixels, the corner roundness to 50%, and most important, I'm applying it to a new layer, which means that our traced outline will be added to a new solid. So let's hit OK and let it work its magic. And as you can see, we have a sweet outline of our actor's movements as he phases. Pretty neat, huh? But what do we do with it? Well, I'm getting to that. Let's turn off our actor and our background layers for now and drop this bad boy below it. Firstly, we don't need the whole silhouette, just the outline. So let's head to Effect, Stylize and grab Find Edges. Now let's check Invert. Bam! Outline achieved. I think it's safe to turn our actor layer back on now. Next, we gotta make a glow, baby. For this, I'm gonna use Red Giant Universe's Edge Glow. Now don't worry guys, it's a free plugin within Universe 2, but you do have to download a trial to try it. So the link is below. Let's head to Effect and apply it. And there we go. From there, I'm gonna leave Edge Detect at 100, change the glow radius to 15, the brightness to 150, we'll then check Colorize, and we'll make it a goldy yellow. 
that's a little bit harsh. I might drop the saturation down a touch. And also, make sure that blend mode is set to none. Alrighty, it's looking pretty good, but we have one last step. We have to animate the opacity of both layers. First off, our actor layer, because Vision becomes slightly transparent when he phases. So let's hit T to bring up opacity and bump it down to say 70%. We'll then scrub along the timeline until our phase is complete, right here. We'll then hit the stopwatch, skip ahead say 7 frames and crank it back up to 100 and make ourselves solid. We'll then do the opposite for our glow. Head back to our first opacity keyframe on our actor layer, select the glow layer, hit T, hit the stopwatch, skip ahead those 7 frames and crank it down to zero. If we check out a preview, that is another shot done. Although, I might duplicate that glow just to bump it up a little bit more. Okay, now it's done. Now gang, I know I said I'd be using Saber on Twitter to make this glow, but I ran into some issues as the auto trace feature, while cool, does make some pretty funky masks. In fact, if I showed you right now, I'll just add Saber, change it to custom core, you can see that all those masks just end up looking all higgledy piggledy and awful. Having said that, if you only have one mask, this looks awesome in Saber. So here's a quick example of that. This is just my green screen footage from the teaser. If we do our auto trace, just like so, we now have a mask based on our alpha channel that we can drop Saber on top of. Now you could use this for ghost effects or holograms. I know it's not really relevant to this effect, but it's just a cool little trick. You're now not just restricted to creating masks to use Saber. You can just auto trace any shape you like. My God. Out of all those steps and you get something like this. So, friends, friends. Hey guys, look what just arrived. Ah, oh, it's so comfy. Look at that stitching. I mean, this is really good quality. You should put yours on. What? Something I said? So that's my take on Vision's phasing effect. Not all that different to Zoom's phasing, but that little trick with Saber and Alpha channels is very handy, no? Okay gang, for real. The next episode of Film Learning is the season 4 finale, so keep an eye out for that. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. Help us kick that 50,000 subscriber girl's ass by showing me some love right here. Social media crap is still floating above my head. And until we meet again, keep learning.